ready to fight. Ready. One of the best strikers in women's MMA history, the former UFC champion, Jermaine Durand, to be ready to go here early round one. Not afraid to feel it. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Outstanding work with the ground and pound here by Maida Bueno Silva. Beautifully timed and placed elbow there from top position. Well, she'll ground you and she will pound you. These strikes are really starting to add up. They're starting to add up because now she's more willing to take chances knowing that she can land. Well, it's hard to win a fight working off of your back, but that elbow is useful. Oh, back to the well with that elbow. That one landed well. And there you go, again, half guard. Just over three minutes to go now. All right, so the ladies make their way back to the feet. Nice job by her there, and the crowd is just laughing it up. Yeah, they're loving it her willingness to fight to get back to her feet. She never accepted being on the bottom. So even though it was difficult, she got it done, and now she looks to impose herself on her opponent. In the clinch, Durandamy's back in full guard. That was a slick transition. Oh, she's got her back. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions or they're going to lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. All right, so she lands another good series of elbows there, DC, and this could be the beginning of the end here. I mean, the fight will not go long if something doesn't change for the defensive party. All right, you heard the crowd pop after that grueling ground battle. The athletes make their way back to the field. The athletes are up, and they need to take in the admiration. The crowd is appreciating the high-level grappling exchanges that they just experienced. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and down by Bueno Silva. Another ground and pound strike lands. Second round, straight ahead. All right, take a seat. Relaxa, respira. Look, you're being overly aggressive right now, okay? You're being way too hyper on this fight. I need you to calm down. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great... Ready to fight? Ready. Second it. round here. Big shot to the head. Just misses with the right. Defensively, nice work with those hips. She is very strong in the lower body. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same. Oh, feels like the beginning of the end. Big shot on the feet. Well, DC, some might suggest she's sort of playing with her food here. She has the upper hand, yet not really forcing the issue and trying to get her out of there. You know, she's very patient as a fighter. But when you see someone hurt that many times in one round, you got to go for blood. I know it's against her. It's not her M.O. to be over-aggressive. But right now, it seems like it's just a matter of time 
before this fight gets stopped. Nicely done. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Maida Bueno Silva. Nice ground strikes landed by her from top position now. And she gets back up again. Nice job to post the hand and get upright. All right, new round, same storyline, and that hook she just landed there might have been her most significant strike of the fight. Over and over, she's thrown that punch, but now she's really starting to dig her body into the strike. She's now looking for the knockout. Notice the difference in the pivot. Notice the difference in the torque that she's putting into that shot. GDR gets up and is back on her feet. Very nice. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands some big knees from in close. All right, so her hooks have certainly been the big storyline in this one, DC. Give us a prediction. You think she goes back to it here? She's absolutely going to go back to it. When I look at her fight, I think of John Lineker, where he just throws hooks to the body, hooks to the head. She does a great job of mixing up the target, and now as the fight has progressed, expect her to try to really sit down on one and end the fight. Well, she's so confident in her defense and her ability to block shots, and, and now you see why? You see all she learned from her background in boxing that allows her to be so effective defensively. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job of following the game plan. She spoke this in the fighter meeting about going to the body, about investing, not worrying about seeing the outcome right away. And it's starting to show now as the fight gets long. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round, but not before damage was done. She was cut on her cheek from the strike in that round, and now the focus for the cut man shutting that thing and making sure it doesn't become a factor here moving forward. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Nice job by her there to block that shot. Gets caught with that punch. Bueno Silva's eye is closing up. No. Oh! Well, she has really shored some things up defensively here as she blocks another set of shots there. She said it was going to be a focus, get better defensively. It's nice. She's showing that the work has been done. Well, pretty good recovery by her opponent after being stunned, but we see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, the opponent's back in the fight and can potentially wrap. Especially with this opponent. This opponent's so dangerous all the time. It does not matter that she hurt her before. She doesn't have to close the door if she gets her hurt again. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking, and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Well, not sure if there's an injury or something, but here we are late in this fight, and she absolutely needs a finish or she's not going to win this fight. Well, she needs a finish. She's taking a beating. I mean, she's fatigued. She's exhausted. She sees a fighter that has gotten the best of her. I can understand the frustration. Oh, no! Clinch, Durandamy's doing a nice job there raising the guard to protect the eye with that block. You can't allow that cut to get worse as this fight continues. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here. I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Man, that thigh is starting to show some signs of bruising. She's almost smirking about it, right? But yeah. got to address it. You can't laugh at it now. You can't laugh at all. You've got to do a better job of addressing it and deter your opponent from going back to the well. Because otherwise, it'll just get worse and worse. Really good vision. Oh! 
Strong outside leg kick. All right, so now as the cut continues. There it is again. Look at that. Well, she's hit. Oh! Oh! oh. That'll do it! Oh, my God! All right, so she gets the flush knockout here tonight. And you got to think this is going to lead to a lot of big fights the rest of the way this year. Big opportunities are presented after you have a performance like this. She did an amazing job and got a massive knockout victory. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 55 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Myra Chikara.